This is Jamaica number one news. Now Jamaica News Online TV. First at six. And here's what we're learning today. Fisherman murdered, friend injured in alleged flower for cocaine scam. Man found dead in Clarendon was due to ID possible suspect in 2021 shooting and tragedy strikes at strawberry fields after boat capsized. Clarendon man remains hospitalized in serious condition following that a fatal shooting Thursday that has been linked to a reported flower for a cocaine scam. Hakeem Thompson, a 25-year-old fisherman, was killed in the incident which took place in Kofal's race course in the parish. Thompson, who was also known as Logan, hailed from Banks District in Clarendon reports uh, that about 7.30 p.m., both Thompson and the man were walking along a roadway when three vehicles, including a white Probox motor car, pulled up near them. Men alighted and opened gunfire. Thompson and the man reported they ran into bushes, but they were chased and shot. The perpetrators reportedly escaped in the waiting motor vehicles. The police were summoned, and on their arrival, both men were seen suffering from gunshot wounds and were taken to hospital, where Thompson was pronounced dead and the other admitted. Both men received gunshots to the upper body. The attack stemmed from a reported flower for cocaine scam, that took place a day before the shooting, an investigation source said. Police say the scam, with often deadly outcomes, has plagued the southern sections of Clarendon for years. Man found dead in Clarendon was due to identify possible suspect in 2021 shooting. The police say an elderly Clarendon man who was found dead on Thursday was due to point out possible suspects responsible for shooting him in 2021. The decomposing body of jo Joseph Bell, 60, was found with gunshot wounds at his home in Rexford, District Clarendon. Residents reported a foul odor coming from the Bell's house, made checks and discovered his body. The police were summoned and Bell's partially decomposed body was seen with gunshot wounds to the head and hands. Investigators have theorized that Bell's demise may have stemmed from a November 2021 incident in which he was shot and an identification parade was pending against a suspect in that shooting, police sources say. It was further disclosed that Bell was targeted after being accused of being involved in break-ins in the community. More than 91 people have been murdered in Clarendon since the start of the year. Tragedy strikes after a boat collapse in St. Mary. Tragedy struck on Saturday when a boat carrying a group of beachgoers capsized on the rough sea along the coast of St. Mary. Reports are that sometime after 2 p.m., a group at the Strawberry Fields together establishment was approached by a man offering boat rides at a cost of 4,000 Jamaican dollars. A number of patrons, primarily from a larger group, a part of a bus trip visiting the location from Kingston reportedly took up the man's offer. Shortly after leaving from the shore, the boat was observed, capsized, and a rescue effort was launched, which involved several kayaks, which were seen rushing to the location. Upon coming ashore, at least three women were observed crying. It is understood that nine persons were aboard the vessel including the captain. One woman remains unaccounted for with rescue efforts underway at the location. 
more information to come. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.